if your formula 122 game is not launching crashing showing the ego dumper crash showing a black screen or freezing then we know how to fix it watch this video till the end and learn how to solve this issue Hey, you're watching Silicophilic, the home of all tech solutions. When your Formula 122 game is not launching, crashing, showing the ego dumper crash, showing a black screen or freezing, then simply perform the solutions shown here to solve it. Before we get into the solution, subscribe to our channel for future tech support. Also, like this video if it helps you solve this issue. Don't forget to comment your feedback on the solutions or if you are facing any issue while performing them. We also have a Facebook group of troubleshooting experts where you can share your tech issues and get direct help. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Now, let's jump into the solutions. The first thing you need to do is restart your PC. Restarting can fix most simple bugs and errors. So if you haven't tried that yet, definitely do it. If the issue persists, then try the next solution. Method 2. The next thing you can try is reinstalling the graphics driver. Right click on start and select device manager. Expand display adapters and right click on the graphics driver. Select Uninstall device and follow as shown. After the driver is uninstalled, you will have to install it. For AMD graphics driver, you will need to install the Radeon app and run it. Similarly for Nvidia graphics drivers, you will need to install the GeForce experience. Running these apps will automatically detect that the graphics drivers are missing and they will download and install them automatically. Restart your PC once the drivers are installed and run the app again to check for any updates. If any update is available, download and install them. Method 3. If you are using Logitech G Hub, then try restarting it and then restarting the game. You can also try closing the G Hub before running the game. Method 4. The next thing you can do is check the integrity of game files. Open Steam and head to Library. Right click on F122 and select Properties. Click on the Local Files tab and select the Verify Integrity of Game Files option. Wait for the Steam to finish verifying and once done, play the game. If you have purchased the game on Origin, then open Origin Game Library. Right click on the game and select Repair. Method 5. Another thing you can try that has worked for many is logging in to EA website with the same account before launching the game. Open www.ea.com Click on the profile icon and select Sign In. Enter the login details of your account and after you have signed in, then run your game. Method 6 The next thing you can do is set the power settings to high performance. This will allow the PC to go for performance optimization over power saving. Type control panel on the search bar and select it. Look for power options and select it. Expand the show additional plans if you don't see the high performance plan listed. Check the high performance plan and save the changes. Method 7. 
The next thing you can try is running F122 as administrator. Open Steam and click on Library. Right click on F122 and select the Manage option. Click on the Browse Local Files option which will open the F122's installation folder. Locate the F122.exe file and right click on it. Select the properties option. Click on the compatibility tab and check the run this program as an administrator box. Click on apply and OK to save the changes. Method 8. Another thing you can try is closing all the unnecessary services running in the background before running the game. Press the Windows plus R keys to open Run. Type msconfig and press the Enter key. Click on the Services tab and check the Hide All Microsoft Services box. Next, click on Disable All. This will disable all the services other than those provided by Microsoft. Click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Method 9. Another thing you can try is disabling all the in-game overlay. First open Origin and click on My Game Library. Click on F122 and select the settings icon and select Game Properties. Uncheck the Enable Origin in-game for F122 box and click on Save. Now open Steam and click on Library. Right click on F122 and select the Properties option. Uncheck the Steam In Game Overlay option. Method 10 If the game is crashing or not launching, then add the game to the antivirus exclusion list on your PC. If you have any third party antivirus, then add the game to the whitelist or exclusion list. Those who are using Windows Defender, here is how you can do it. Type Windows Security in the search bar and select the top result. Select Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and click on Manage Ransomware Protection. Next. Click on Allow an app through controller folder access. Click on Add an allowed app option. Browse to the F122 installation folder and select the exe file. If you don't know where the installation folder is, then open Steam and click on Library. Right click on F122 and select Manage and then Browse Local Files. Check the address of the installation folder and browse to it. After the game is added, run the game and see if the issue is fixed. If the issue persists, then try disabling the Controlled Folder Access toggle from the Ransomware Protection settings. Method 11 The next thing you need to do is set F122 to high performance. Press the Windows plus I keys to open settings. Click on system and then select display. Scroll down and click on graphic settings. Click on the browse option and head to the F122 installation folder. Select the F122.exe and add it. You will now see it here. 
Click on Options. Select High Performance. Select Save to save the changes. Method 12. Another thing you can do is install the Visual C++ redistributables. What you need to do is search Visual C++ redistributables in Google. Click on the first link of Microsoft.com. We have also provided this link in the description so you don't have to search. Download the Visual C++ redistributables for 2022. Remember to download the correct architecture like downloading x64 for 64-bit systems and x86 for 32-bit systems. Install the downloaded file as shown. Now restart your PC. After the PC restarts, run the game and the issue should be fixed. Method 13. Another thing you can do is close any unnecessary apps running in the background. Right click on the task bar and select task manager. In the processes tab, check for any unnecessary processes. Right click on them and select end task to close them. Apps like Discord, GeForce Experience, Google Chrome are some that you should close before playing Formula 122 game. Method 14. The next thing you can try is decreasing the in-game graphics settings. Open the game and then open the options. Open graphics settings and then follow as shown. So that's it. If this video has helped you in figuring this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. If the issue isn't resolved from the solutions we have shown here, comment below to let us know and our team will try their best to help you out. Also join our Facebook group for direct tech support. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching Silicophilic.